Okay, this is a run through for Pole Master very quickly. Um, let's get rid of all that. All right, first connect. There we've connected, and there's the Pole Star. You can adjust the visibility though because the Pole Star with the exposure and the gain setting. Next, click on Polaris. Adjust those sliders. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard until they cover at least one or two of the stars. When that comes up, press no, and then basically choose another star other than Polaris. So you can choose any. I'm going to choose this one. And at that point, you need to rotate the mount using the hand controller, or I'm doing this through the laptop using a program called EQ Mod. So I'm turning it clockwise for at least 30 degrees, which is not all that much. And we've almost come up to 30 degrees, so I've finished there. Click on the same star again, done. And then rotate it again for another 30 degrees. And there she goes, you can see it rotating around the pole star, which isn't moving very much. And that's almost about it. Press finish again, double click. And at this point, you need to return the scope to its original position. So this is the part position with the counterweight down and the scope pointing at the pole star. Okay, so you'll find the park button on your hand controller. And there it was on my EQ mod on my computer laptop. Yep, the star is tracing that circle, which means, yep, we did choose Polaris correctly. So everything's okay. Yes, that's correct. Press correct. And then double click on Polaris once again. For some reason, it brings up these sliders again. Place the stars inside the circles using arrow keys on your keyboard. And you can see Polaris should be on that crosshair. Now, I have already polar aligned tonight, so it was never going to be too far off. It could be anywhere on that screen. Adjust at this point, mechanically adjust your mount using the azimuth knobs and the altitude mobs knobs. Do not touch your handset. Do not move the scope with your handset from this point onwards. You're just basically mechanically adjusting the mount. And that's just about right. That's the Polaris over the crosshair. So I consider that a success. Double click it and the sliders come up and the star should still be in there. Press success. And at this point, press start monitor. And this is precise polar alignment. It's like a blown up image of what we've just seen. Again, just use mechanically just your mount. You're not using the hand controller. And basically the two shapes you can see there in that left hand panel, little box panel, should be superimposed upon each other. What I use is the magnifying tool that comes with windows and you can get a much closer shot. There we are. A bit rough, but there you go. That gives a good indication. You try to superimpose those two shapes and use the crosshairs as a good guide. So I'm just moving the mount up using the altitude adjuster and then I'm going to move it slightly to the right there using the azimuth bolts. I have an EQ8 and the movements are quite good actually. You'll find the EQ6 a little bit rougher and you'll need to get a hang of just adjusting them by the right point to get these shapes to superimpose upon each other. If the seeing is bad or you've got cloudy conditions, those two shapes are going to be wobbling all over. It's not your mount, it's not the computer, it's not the program, it's not the camera, it's conditions. Conditions tonight are not too bad. And there we are, that is precisely polar aligned. And if you can get it like that, you're going to be within an art minute of the pole, which is plenty good enough for any kind of imaging you might want to be doing. So there we are, we'll lock the magnifier glass off if I can. I'm clumsy tonight. And press finished. And you can disconnect Pole Master, because you're done with it for tonight.